Welcome to LCF Kids Blog. We'll continue with our series on balancing. Hello, my name is Ricardo Kanana, and I am the founder of LCF Kids. LCF Kids is an adaptive fitness center located in Fort Stretch, Virginia and Ashburn, Virginia. We work directly with children with disability to help them accomplish their gross motor skill goals. Today, I'm going to talk about how to do dynamic balancing using your own body weight. But first, I want to get into some of the activities in terms of the benefit that you can gain from doing dynamic balancing using your own body weight. And there are five main skills you can gain from doing this activity. There are dynamic balancing, lower leg strength, gross motor, motor planning skill, and also you will work on your agility. What I require or recommend when you're working on this skill is to make sure you take all the safety protocol and the first thing I would recommend is to get the correct footwear, um, a sneakers that's nice and comfy, give your child, make sure they have enough support so they can prevent knees and shin splint injury. I also recommend make sure if you're doing it into an open, in an open space, you want to make sure the space is clear from all debris and also you want to make sure there's no wet spot on the floor so you can minimize slipping and all those stuff. So also always take those safety precaution in consideration before you start the activity. And secondly, I want to talk about the equipment that you need to have. You want to make sure you have some visual cue, like a small circular poly spot that's great to use so the child know where to start and where to finish. Also, you want to make sure in terms of the equipment that in terms of the way the child dress, you want to make sure they're in something comfortable, whether you know, a light um, um, shorts and something that's very easy for them to move around and also a nice shirt where it's not too hot and just something for them to move freely. And next I will get into the step. What are the things you need to do when you're doing the dynamic balance and using your own body weight? And the first thing I always recommend is to go with the forward motion. And for this, you want to make sure the child get into a ready position. And I recommend I always start off with the stronger leg for me. I'm a right footer, so I'm going to start off with my right foot. And then you want to get the non-dominant leg behind the body. And then you want to make sure the child bend their arm. Because that's going to help them to propel their self when they jump forward. So another thing you want to remind the child of is to make sure when they push off, they push off from the ball of their feet. So that will give them more explosiveness. So I'll demonstrate the forward motion and the key, like I said, you want to use your arm to propel yourself and push off from your toes. You got to do the right, but also you want to switch back and you want to do the left. So you're working on both legs. So that's very important. And then my second step was to do the lateral movement, which would be the same kind of um, stand where you stand in an upright position and placing the legs behind the body. But now when you move lateral, you want to make sure you keep the shoulders square. You want to look straight ahead and do the same motion in terms of pushing off from the ball of your feet, going to the right and then going back to the left. So all these steps is very great for your agility. And then the third step was to do backward. And it'd be the same thing, like I said, always make sure they get in the ready position. And then you push off, going backward, using your arms to prepare the stop. And then you do the next leg. So all these steps are very important in terms of building agility and also build up lower strength and motor planning and gross motor skills. Um, another thing I'd always remind parents is about if you child having difficulty doing these steps, what you can do, you can go to our website, www.lcfkids.com, and you can get more information about our program, but also about my book that I've written, Adaptive Fitness and Growth Motor Development, where there are a lot of steps that will help you how to minimize the skill and more hands-on technique to help your child to have success at this skill. Also, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening. Until we see you again. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.